black bean is right here. So we're gonna start and cook our, heat our oil in there for our onion and that. We'll put that here so we don't get confused. Everybody knows it's been to the class before how easily I'm confused. We put our oil in there. We're gonna put our onion and our garlic. Okay, we'll start the onion a little bit before we put the garlic in. All right. This is good. I think we're gonna go ahead and add the garlic to this. You wanna be careful, I'm using the minced garlic from a jar. We don't want that to burn. We've got the onions nice and tender. They're starting to get golden. Our, our um, garlic look good, looks good. So we will go ahead and add everything else. So we've got two cans of black beans, which I did um, rinse and drain. You don't want that kind of gloppy stuff in here. So we've got our black beans. We've got our, um, let's see, diced tomatoes undrained, and a can of uh, stewed tomatoes, Mexican style, and a can of corn, and two cans of green chilies. I like soups that can just Gonna be all put in here, and our chicken broth. And that's 32 ounces. Did what? No, I did not. There's really not a whole lot of juice in there. So the only I drained the corn, did not drain the tomatoes, either one, the stewed or the diced. Rinse the black beans. All right, so we've got that that we're going to bring to a boil. We're gonna put in some chili powder and some cumin. And I think we are done with this for now. I think this would make a really good soup. But if you don't like the lumps and all that goes in with it, then you know, and, and it is going to make it, we're not going to add anything to it to make it creamy, no milk or anything like that. We're just going to um, grind or uh, process it. So either way, if you don't, if you feel like, hey, I like that, like that. That's good. Okay, now to do this, this is what I learned on the Food Network. And I, I, I really did not know this because... Uh, it was uh, Sandra uh, Lee, who I really like, and I think it was her money saving, whatever uh, thing. And she said, and now she was using a blender to cream soup like this, she was doing tomato. And she said, now don't fill it too full because it will blow the top off if it's hot. And I'm like, I didn't know that. <laughs> and I thought, she must know that from experience. <laughs> Because it sounded like one of those things that you would only know that from experience. So we're just going to, I'm going to use a food processor rather than the blender. And just when you do this, you can do it hot, just be careful. You don't want to get burnt. And there's, I wondered what that little line that said liquid thing. Liquid, maximum liquid. But that's pretty low until I tried this earlier. It didn't blow the top off. It did make kind of a mess. Okay, then you're just going to, I think it said two cups, I'm, we're not gonna measure it out, and you're just gonna process it. Like I said, it's kinda messy. But that, we'll just go ahead, I won't um, process it all unless we need it, but that's basically what it is. Can she do it? Now with this, you can um, put in some sour cream, some grated che cheddar cheese would be really good. Have, have um, if you're gonna serve this on a night, um, you know, have 
have some different things around. Maybe even if you want to go so far as cutting the strips of tortilla chips and baking them, you could have those to, to go with that. Anything like that would go really good with that soup.